The next pattern is going to focus on uh, our hip stabilizers. All right, and and because the the hip stabilizers are also known to always get short and tight, uh, in keeping with the other other muscles of Janda's classification of muscle imbalance, we've got to include uh, the external hip rotators. All right, and the the major one is the piriformis, but we're actually probably get stretching all six of them while we're doing this. Okay, so what we're going to do is. The way to stretch these external rotators of the hip is, is to get in a figure four position like this, all right? And the stretch in this, all you can really do is you, you pull your knee and your foot up. As you pull it closer to your head, you get a, a better stretch in the external rotator of your hip. Okay, see how we're still doing hip mobility? So anyway, when if I, my figure four knee is up down here, that's the least stretched position. If I come this way and pull a little bit, there's a little more stretch. If I drop all the way over here and give a little pull, that's the greatest amount of stretch. Okay? So the movement pattern here, or the motion, is we're going to start here. Give a pull, rock a little, give a pull toward the middle, rock to the other side, give a pull. Now you switch sides. Pull here, that's the least stretch on the left side. Now there's a neutral stretch, and a much more difficult stretch here. And you just go back and forth. Three, switch. One, two, 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 three, switch. All right. Simple movement pattern for uh, mobilizing the external rotators of the hip. Alright, give that one a try too. Alright. Hey!